This video is part four in a series where I'm going a whole week using the fish I can catch as my only food source. But in this video, it's gonna be a little bit different because I am starting to realize I'm not getting enough food to eat, not enough nutrients, and I'm starting to maybe slow down a little bit. So if you notice some differences, go ahead and post them in the comments. And you can go back and watch the previous videos or you can just start right here. It doesn't really matter. Day number five. <laughs> that's four, but that's five. I think we're just gonna go shore fishing in the morning here. Then later today, we might go to the surf. Hopefully there's fish at the shore fishing spot because I don't have, I always say this, don't have much time this morning. I mean, you can't fish all day, every day. Bring in the lures. I don't think we're gonna throw that popper, but we're gonna throw some lures for some specklers. Maybe the odd redfish. Let's go right now. All right, here we are at the spot, man. It's going with the, t the diamond rig again. I want to see if it actually has anything to it. Ooh, the water's looking pretty good, man. I got a feeling about today, though. Something, something amazing is going to happen. Maybe not right now, maybe later today. We'll see, but I got a feeling. Look at these jokers over here. All right, let's get to it. The water's pretty clear. Oh, I mean, we got the diamond back jig for clear water. It'll still work, though. I don't think it matters too much. Oh my God. That was a struggle. First cast for fish. No backlash at least. Oh, there's a, well, that was a lizard fish, I think. Jeez. He held, hit it twice. I felt him. He's just laying down on the bottom right there. Good thing he didn't get my tail. I'm like, I don't know. Do you think lizard fish taste good? Who knows? They might actually. I think I've heard that they're decent. All right, I think we need to switch lures. Oh! Well, we're just gonna go with a simple soft plastic down south lure on the jig head and we're gonna throw it straight out there. Well, that's a bad rigging job, but it's gonna work, maybe. A rock, what? I didn't know there was a rock right there. Oh man, look at that, huge cloud over here. It's raining too, it's gonna come right for me. That's terrific. It's just one little cloud, man. Actually, one big cloud, but it's the only cloud around that's raining, and it's coming straight for me. Talking about good luck today. Oh, shit. That's what you get, dude. Bite again. Oh, it's ladyfish. No. I'm not going to eat you, ladyfish. Dang, it's a powerful guy, though. Ooh, perfect hook set, too. You're done, my friend. Woo. Jeez, what a crazy fish. Not what we wanted, though. Not gonna eat no lady fish. Mushy old lady fish. Not for me, friends. Holy shit. Wow, that's a huge trout, dude. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's a giant. That's a freaking giant out of nowhere, dude. What in the heck? Did you see that, all the mullet? Getting scared out of nowhere? I was like, what is following that? And it's a giant trout and it's on my lure. Let's land this sucker. That's a freaking beast. That's a giant freaking trout, dude. Dude, I told you something crazy was gonna happen today. How did I know? All right, all right, all right. Not yet, huh? Don't go over that rock, my man. Oh, he went over the rock. Oh, we got him. Freaking beast. Beast hook set too. Oh yeah, dude. Let's go measure this guy. Dang it, we might have to eat this guy. That's gonna be a good freaking meal though. 23, 23 inch baby. That's awesome, man, out of nowhere. Clutch, dude. I talk about a clutch fish, we got our freaking clutch 23 inch fish right there. Jeez, that's awesome. So happy, man. We go on to live another day. Let's get out of here right now before that rain comes for us. Ugh, freaking yellow mouth, baby. Yellow mouth. Awesome. But in the meantime, we gotta fillet this fish. We might need a bigger cutting board. Let me tell you something, man. Fishing for every meal is really time consuming and that's why commercial fishermen don't do it with rod and reel. But we got our we got our stuff filleted up. 
over here. We got it chilling in some water, some ice water. And I think we're gonna bake it. We're gonna b -b -b bake, bake, bake some fish. I think the breading will give us some different nutrition. Hopefully a little bit of, I don't know, carbs, some, some different vitamins and minerals. But check this out real quick. We did something a little bit different. First of all, we have our normal filet here, how I normally filet it. And then we got some with the belly meat on here. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try out some of that belly meat, see if it's any good. And there are some bones in here, but we'll eat around them. And there it is, folks. I cut up, cut up the thicker parts just so they cook a little bit more evenly. Let's try it out. The nice thing about catching just one big fish is you get a lot of meat from it and you only have to take one fish. There's a lot of meat and it tastes good. I think I said a couple times that I was gonna go to the surf tonight, but I think we're gonna go to the jetties instead just because I have 8 a.m. class, 8 a.m. class tomorrow. And if we go to the surf and then we hit the clean fish and then we have to cook, uh, we're gonna be up pretty late. So I think the jetty is gonna be a little bit quicker. All right, man, we are just about ready for the jetty. So let's see. Actually, we need to go to we need to go to Roy's. We need to pick up some spoons first, and then we're going to the jetty. Should be good. Uh, I'm not sure if these are gonna fit. Yeah, they will. That'll do. All right, man. Here we go at at the jetties. Well, now we have to walk first, but let's see what we got. We got our rods. Got the cast net with the bait bucket just in case we want to do live bait and everything else in there. Man, I'm telling, oh my gosh, look at that bait blown up. I'm telling you guys, I had a good feeling, man. We got bait, we got clear water, we got decent winds. It's a little bit windier, but geez, look at that bait. Dang, <laughs> look at those jellies. Jeez, I thought there was a lot of mullet, man. There might be even more jellies. All right, let's get between all these mullet and jellyfish. Going with the spoon, first thing, of course. This is, I think, two and a half ounces the big old bait casting setup. All right, Mr. Castanet, you ready to do some work, buddy? Coming right in close for me. You guys are messing up. I'm telling you right now, you're messing up. Boom, dude. I told you, man. I told you you guys should swim away from me, man. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> oh, we got a jelly, too. How'd you get out, my man? Putting on a two ounce sinker. Pretty much th exactly the same we did the first day. We're gonna try and get some reds too, though, this time. And there's a nice mully for us. All right, Mr. Mully, you wanna go right or left? Uh, I think he's saying he wants to go left. Anything for you, Mr. Mully? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I've ever done that. That's why you gotta pay attention where your lure's at. Oh. oh, jelly. Gross. Guys, I'm not lying to you when I say this is almost unfishable just because of how many jellyfish there are. Just all the way up and down, just continuous jellyfish, and they're just pulling my line downstream. God, look at my line. It's way over there when I cast it straight out. Just because, oh my, and there's the jellyfish on my line. Gross. And that means we're leaving. We're trying a different spot right now. We're not even fishing the jetties, we're fishing the jellies. It's a field of landmines out here. <laughs> All these jellies got trapped when the tide went down, I guess. At least they're not in the water to get on my line. Oh no, what if they're over here too? We're kind of, we're at a crossroads here. <laughs> It's not even a crossroads, it's just a bridge. Well, we could throw top water. I think that's what we'll do. ATT, you always try top water. Oh, we got smashed. What is it? Oh, damn, a ladyfish. Not the only thing, man. The only thing I didn't want. It's a freaking insane one, too. God, first cast. All right, buddy. Dang, look at this Pelly. He wants some fish. I don't think you could eat this, my dude. It's a little bit big. This is too big for you, dude. I don't want to see you choke on it. Oh, there's just so many jellyfish. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the goop. Dude, it's unfishable. It's all jellers. Jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. There's a guy. 
That's a lady. Jeez. Anything but a ladyfish, man. He almost pulled me off. He did pull me off my rock. Woo! And he got off. That's fine with me. All right, top water time right here. Time to smack down two keeper trout in a row. No doubt in my mind. Got to turn off the GoPro because it's on one. One actually, it's on zero bars. So we need to turn on once we actually get a bite. See ya. That is not the trout we were looking for. <laughs> Oops, see ya. Well, we just got back from the jetty fail and look what's right in front of my door when I get here. This is what I call good timing. Let's just see what's inside. Wow, look at that, dude. What do we have here? That's what I call good timing. Uh, but yeah, that's all for day number five. We'll see you on day number six. Day six should be something. Mm, I don't know. Not sure if it's good or bad. Probably bad.